My lord! My lord, let me help you. I do not require assistance. The boy. Is he dead? You. Examine him. Tell me whether he is dead or not. Draco alive? Is he in the castle? Yes. He is dead. Yeah! Harry Potter is dead by my hands. Now no man left alive can threaten me. Watch. Crucio! Now, we go to the castle and we show them what has become of their Hero. Harry Potter is dead. He was killed as he ran away, trying to save himself while you lay down your lives for him. We bring you his body as proof. The battle is won. You have lost half of your fighters. The boy who lived is no more. Anyone who continues to resist will be slaughtered, as will every member of their families. Silence! You see? Harry Potter is dead. Do you understand now, deluded ones? He was nothing, ever, but a boy who relied on others to sacrifice themselves for him. He beat you! You lost! Give up, Voldemort! Harry Potter beat you! We will win! He was killed trying to sneak out of the castle grounds. Killed trying to save himself? And who is this? Who has volunteered to demonstrate what happens to those who continue to fight when the battle is lost? <laughs> it is Neville Longbottom, my lord. The boy who has been giving the Karos so much trouble. The son of the Aurors. Remember? Ah, yes. I remember. But you are a pureblood, my brave boy. <laughs> So what if I am? You show spirit and bravery, and you come from noble stock. You will make an valuable Death Eater. We need your kind, Neville Longbottom. I'll join you when hell freezes over. Dumbledore's Army! Dumbledore's Army! Very well. If this is your choice, Longbottom, we revert to our original plan. On your head. Be it. Neville here is going to demonstrate what happens to anyone foolish enough to continue to oppose me. Nagi, finish him. Kill them, my Death Eaters! Crucio! Rodrigo! Get them! Harry! Harry! Where's Harry? Back here, you little git! Taunt! Lupin! Them! See how this works for your hair! It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. Not a cadaver! Engage you! 
What do you two think you're doing? Winning. Duh. And don't come back! <laughs> ah, my children! Shall we dance before I send you to meet the dead Mr. Potter? You witch! Out of my way! No! Get back! She is mine! What will happen to your children when I've killed you? <laughs> what will happen when Mummy has gone the same way as Freddy? will never touch our children again. No! You will pay for her! Come take go! No. I don't want anyone else to help. It's got to be like this. It's got to be me. Potter doesn't mean that. That's not how he works. Who are you going to use to shield you today? Nobody. There are no more Horcruxes. It's just you and me. Neither can live while the other survives. And one of us is about to leave for good. One of us? You think it will be you? Do you? The boy who survived by accident? And because Dumbledore was pulling the strings? Accident, was it? When my mother died to save me? Accident when I decided to fight you in that graveyard? Accident that I did not defend myself tonight and still survived and returned to fight again? Accidents. Accident and chance. And the fact that you crouched and sniveled behind the skirts of greater men and women and permitted me to kill them for you. You will not be killing anyone else tonight. You won't be able to kill any of them ever again. Don't you get it? I was ready to die to stop you from hurting these but people. But you did not. I meant to. And that's what did it. I've done what my mother did. Haven't you noticed how none of your spells that you place on them are binding? You can't torture them. You can't touch them. <laughs> you don't learn from your mistakes, Riddle, do you? You dare! Yes, I dare! I know things you don't know, Tom. I know lots of important things that you don't. Want to hear some before you make another big mistake? Is it love again? Dumbledore's favorite solution, love which he claimed conquered death. Though love did not stop him from falling from the tower and breaking like an old waxwork. Love, which did not prevent me from stamping your mud blood mother like a cockroach potter. And nobody seems to love you enough to run forward this time to take my curse. So what will stop you from dying now when I strike? Just one thing. If it's not love that will save you this time, you must believe you have magic that I do not. Or else a weapon more powerful than mine. I believe both. You think you know more magic than I do. 
Then I, Lord Voldemort, who has prepared magic that Dumbledore himself never dreamed of. Oh, he dreamed of it. But he knew more than you, Tom. He knew enough not to do what you have done. You mean he was weak? Too weak to dare. Too weak to take what might have been his, what will be mine. <laughs> no, he was cleverer than you. A better wizard, a better man. I brought about the death of Albus Dumbledore. You thought you did, but you were wrong. Dumbledore is dead! His body decays in a marble tomb in the grounds of this castle. I have seen it, Potter, and he will not return. Yes, Dumbledore is dead, but you didn't have him killed. He chose his own manner of dying, chose it months before he died. Arranged the whole thing with the man you thought was your servant. What childish dream is this? Severus Snape wasn't yours. Snape was Dumbledore's. Dumbledore's from the moment you started hunting down my mother. And you never realized it. Because of the one thing you can never understand. You never saw Snape cast a Patronus, did you, Riddle? Snape's Patronus was a doe. The same as my mother's. Because he loved her for nearly all of his life, from the time when they were children. You should have realized. He asked you to spare her life, didn't he? He desired her, that is all. But when she was gone, he agreed there were other women, and of purer blood, more worthier of him. Of course he told you that. But he was Dumbledore's spy from the moment you threatened her, and he's been working against you ever since. Dumbledore was already dying when Snape finished him. It matters not! It matters not whether Snape was mine or Dumbledore's, or what petty obstacles they tried to put in my path. I crushed them as I crushed your mother, Snape's supposed great love. Oh, but it all makes sense, Potter, in ways you do not understand. Dumbledore was trying to keep the Elder Wand from me. He intended that Snape should be the true master of the wand. But I got there ahead of you, you little boy. I reached the wand before you could get your hands on it. I understood the truth before you caught up. I killed Severus Snape three hours ago. And the Elder Wand, the Death Stick, the Wand of Destiny, is truly mine. Dumbledore's last plan went wrong, Harry Potter. Yeah, it did. You're right. But before you tried to kill me, I'd advise you to think about what you've done. Think and try for some remorse, Riddle. What is this? It's your last chance. It's all you've got left. I've seen what you'll be otherwise. Be a man. Try for some remorse. You dare! Yes, I dare! Because Dumbledore's last plan hasn't backfired on me at all. It's backfired on you, Riddle. That wand still isn't working properly for you. Because you murdered the wrong person. Severus Snape was never the true master of the Elder Wand. He never defeated Dumbledore. He killed- Aren't you listening? Snape never beat Dumbledore. Dumbledore's death was planned between them. Dumbledore intended to die undefeated, the wand's last true master. If all had gone as planned, the wand's true power would have died with him, because it had never been won from him. But then, Potter, Dumbledore as good as gave me the wand. I stole the wand from its last master's tomb. I've removed it against the last master's wishes. Its power is mine. You still don't get it, Riddle, do you? Possessing the wand isn't enough. Didn't you ever listen to Ollivander? The wand chooses the wizard. The Elder Wand recognized a new master before Dumbledore died, someone who had never laid a hand on it. The new master removed the wand from Dumbledore against his will, never realizing what he had done or that the world's most dangerous wand had given him its allegiance. The true master of the Elder Wand is Draco Malfoy. But what does it matter? Even if you're right, Potter, it makes no difference to me. 
You no longer have the Phoenix Wand. We duel on skill alone. And after I kill you, I can attend to Draco Malfoy. <laughs> but you're too late. You missed your chance. I got there first. I overpowered Draco weeks ago. I took this wand from him. So it all comes down to this, Riddle. Does the wand in your hand know its last master was disarmed by me? Because if it does, I am the true master of the Elder Wand. A fire can expel the arm!